interfacing the ESP32 um, touchscreen with the uh, Raspberry Pi. And uh, it just uses uh, serial to serial communication between the ESP32 and the Raspberry Pi, which. So this is probably important. <laughs> I remember when you enable uh, serial, it has like SSH login through serial, and I happened to look at the serial monitor and it says Raspberry Pi login. So I'm probably like fighting that. So I gotta turn that off and see if I have better luck. Okay, I got it through the Raspberry config. Serial login shell is disabled. Serial interface is disabled. That was through uh, interface options, serial port. Would you like a login shell? Accessible or serial? No. Serial port hardware enabled, yes. Um, actually, I have a thing here. This is testing it. So it's expecting serial, and when I click this, like, start, it's there, stop. You can see. It's recording. Anyway, this uh, is, uh, has a specific purpose, you know, you record. Um, yeah, the tilting is because the thing isn't supported. Anyway, that doesn't matter. This thing is a, a beast. It has like uh, IMU in it, so you can get like all this data, send it to the Pi to store it, and then match it with the video frames. But that's the plan. Anyway, I want to make this video just to have a list of things. So first thing is... Uh, follow their info here which after you can flash the uh, demo code which I think it's this but um, yeah you end up getting this folder which has a bunch of dependencies and I added some libraries libraries which they uh suggest here like tft espi espy and the other one is lvgl you get those in your editor which uh and then if you can flash the uh demo you should see um this red green gyro I have a picture of it. It looks like this. So if you successfully flash that, then you can proceed. I had a lot of problems with mine. Like I usually use my uh, 2017 um, MacBook Pro to flash things, but uh, I couldn't get it to work with this board for some reason. I kept getting this like uh, RAM. 1077 whatever message I'll put that in the description but anyway yeah so you get this there's like a touch thing uh, touch demo which I wanted to talk about um, so the circle is like you know cut out of a square and it's 240 240 and then um, in my case I just have a simple start stop button which it's pretty easy to draw things with this um, they provide you these functions like paint uh, paint draw string that's how you put like start uh, paint draw let's see there's a rectangle somewhere yeah so there see I have a function that says draw main button it draws the 
rectangle than the square. What I was trying to talk about is this the touch when so if there's a touch detect that like comes in here and then uh, I've got a basic like debouncer thing or throttling which one is it uh, but yeah so that means since the refresh rate is fast it's 60 FPS determined by the the main loop is uh, one millisecond delay, but you count every 16. That's how you get 60 FPS. And then the uh, the counting clock, like one, two, three. That's you know a thousand. But uh, yeah, and then uh, got a function here. You pass in the uh, x and y coordinates, and I have a bounding. You know. Uh, top left bottom right area of a rectangle if the values pass there then you know touch that button so that's how you have like touch where's my list I like all over the place but I spent so much time on this project uh, let's see uh, yeah talked about the font like there's 8, 12, 16, 20. Pass that into drawstring here, right here. And uh, if you look at these functions, like they tell you what they are. This is the background, that's the foreground. Uh, foreground is first, so white, black. Drawstring, really? Hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah. And then the the serial. Uh, if you look at this image here, like two, four, six, these are GPIOs you can use. And in the code, I have set the software serial to use those two. I'm not, I'm gonna take this out. I was gonna have like a dedicated high low, uh, high low on off button, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just take that out. Anyway, yeah. So software serial. Oh man, there's so much crap I gotta remove. Yeah, that's I use that. Which they mention in their docs, like down here, right here, it's RX. So you call it here, like serial one begin the baud rate. Um, I don't know what this thing is configure, but RX TX ports. Those are defined at the very top. Set timeout. Yeah, and that's it. This is from the demo. Same for this. Same for all of this. My code like starts here. And this is just specific to my purpose. But um, let's see. Uh, color hex. Yeah, there's like an Arduino thing. Uh, it's like zero by FFO or whatever. If you're lucky, you just use words. I mean, the constants are defined, but it's like this. These are the Arduino hex colors. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Um, oh, yeah. So when you're dealing with... Uh, where is it? Bash. If you're dealing with this, um, you have to use uh, dev serial zero, at least for the Pi Zero 2. 
There's the baud rate right there. That has to match what your Arduino or ESP32 side has. So when you say uh, serial begin here, it's 115200. And then this is, this is a basic reading thing I found. I'll integrate that into the Python code for the clip cam. <sighs> and then Yeah, I think that's it. So really, get it to flash, and I don't have it on here, but you know they show it in their docs. Like, make sure that the um, the right like port is selected, and set these up here. But uh, the one thing I had a problem with is um, for Linux, like the dev TTY, what is I got my laptop in front of me right here. Wake up. Yeah, I had to use this command. It's like sudo safemod a plus rw dev tty acmo i had to write that in order to get the esp32 to be flashable that was annoying but i found that it seems like i have to do that every time i unplug replug it in um yeah so i was not as prepared as i wanted it to be but uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, do you want to like immediately get working with this thing? Just use their demo code because I looked at it and like all of these, well, not all of them, but a lot of it is used like, um, if you look at uh, LCD tests, it pulls in CST, which is over here under LBGL. So it's like the only file I modified to work on this project is this one, which is like the main equivalent. When I looked at their demo code, like everything was written in setup. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like this, there was nothing in loop. You could move it there, but it's not a big deal for me. It works. Okay, that's it. I'll try to edit this to... I'm just glad I, like, finished it, because I... I mean, I finished all the, like, unknowns. And then I'll just start recording footage and later do the actual ML stuff, which is still an unknown to me right now.